Hello and welcome to the video. In this video I'm going to show you how to make a dynamic picture that will change based on the result in a cell. So in my example we're going to have a score that someone's achieved and then in B4 we're going to have a result either it's a pass or it's a fail. So to start things off I'm just going to create a very simple if formula that will work out if they have passed or failed. So it's going to be if a4 is less than 60, it will mean the result is a fail, otherwise the result is pass. So you'll see with the score we've got at the moment, it's a fail. What I now need to do, and I'm going to do this on sheet 2, and I've preset row 1 to be big enough to hold my pictures, is I'm going to put some pictures into column A, B, C. So I'm going to do that by doing insert through to illustrations and pictures and then go to my device and I'm going to use this one for fail. So I need to position that where I want it to be. Now I'm just going to reposition it. I'm going to use Once I've got it in there, I'm going to use the Alt key just to get it to, to fit nicely in the cell. Now I've done that, repeat the process to get my one for pass. And again, once it's in there, I'm just going to hold the Alt key down to get it to expand to the size of the cell. Now I need a picture to begin with, so I'm going to go into insert again. But to save going and putting another picture from externally in, I'm just going to go and use one of the icons. So I'm going to use one of these ones. I'll just use that one. And again, I'm just going to use the Alt key just to get it to fit nicely in the cell. Now I'm going to convert that to a graphic. So I'm going to change it to a shape. And now what I need to do is I need to give each of these areas its own name. So the key to doing this is to move to the cell below and then use your up arrow so that you're actually selecting the cell, not the picture that's in it. So you can previously see I've already named that one fail. I've already named that one pass. And I've already named that one pick. And the way that I did that was to go to the cell and just type into this box and press enter. So now that I've got that, if I go and again, I'm selecting the cell, not the picture. I've selected the picture I've got in C1. I'm going to copy that. And on sheet number one, just in column D, I'm going to right click and I'm going to pick paste special. I'm going to pick the option of a linked picture. So you'll see at the moment that that picture is referencing as a formula, sheet two, C1 which is where that picture is. So what I'm going to do now is make a named area that will replace that, that reference. So I'm going to do that by going to the formulas ribbon. I'm going to go to my name manager. I'm going to create a new name. I'm just going to call this choice. So instead of it being a cell reference I'm going to replace that with indirect open bracket and then I'm going to reference the cell where we've got our result so in this case it's B4 so if I press OK now and OK again and sorry close I can now go to the picture and if I change the cell reference to my named area 
which are called choice. When I press enter now, you will see the picture has changed to the failed picture. If I go and now change the score to a score that would make it a pass, you will see that the picture changes to the pass picture. So a nice quick and easy way to make a dynamic picture using the result of a formula and the indirect function. If you like the video guys, can you give me a thumbs up? And if you want to see more videos from me, click the subscribe button and press the notification bell. I plan to do two videos a week on various topics within Office 365. If there's any topics you'd like me to cover, please mention them in the comments below. Thank you for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.